For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. Hi, welcome to the first week of opening your home. Hospitality doesn't simply mean opening your home, hosting people. It means showing love to strangers. And so automatically we can see that our understanding of hospitality that we have in our culture is very limited because typically when we show hospitality on those occasions that we do open up our home, we're opening up to people that we know. And so uh, the biblical concept of hospitality, though, the very word that's used would indicate that what the Bible is talking about is something different than simply opening up your home to people that you know. It means showing love to strangers, people that you don't know, people you've never met. Second word for hospitality, less common word, but it occurs in 1 Timothy 5 through 10, and it's worth taking a look at, 1 Timothy 5 through 10. And uh, we see that same uh, root which is xeno, uh, but uh, the word is xenodokeo in the Greek. And um, it's uh, putting together the words uh, stranger or someone without the knowledge or share of and um, dekomai, which means to receive. And so that sounds very complicated, but what it means in the Greek, uh, it's, it's, it's funny, isn't it, that certain languages have words for stuff that we don't have because we don't do those things? <laughs> And so what this kind of hospitality means is it means when we open our life to people that don't share our values. So if I were to say, well, what is the word for that that we have in English? We would probably go, uh, Facebook. <laughs> That's funny. That's very good. Um, and sadly true, I think. Um, but so uh, in the Greek, they have words for hospitality that we don't have in English because we don't do those things much anymore, if we ever did. Uh, but the first one then is love of strangers, meaning we open our homes and our lives to people we don't know. The second is, is that we open our lives to people that don't share the same values with us. They don't have the same background. Now, our reaction uh, when we hear those things is we think, okay, so how am I supposed to do that? But of course, we never start there. Uh, that's the end of the month. Uh, that's what we're going to get to as we study the scriptures. But always the first question we want to look at is we ask the question, how did God do that to us? And it turns out that this is why the concept of hospitality is so well represented in the Bible, because this is exactly what God did, is that God opened his life to those who did not share his values. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. But they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man, and birds, and animals, and creeping things. If you would like more information on Dot W Evangelical Church, check out dotheword.org. Hear the word, do the word, Dot W.